I'm Anil Kumar and now let us see how to find second derivative for rational functions. Determine second derivative of f of x equals to x over x square plus 1. So, so f of x is given to us as equals to x over x square plus 1 derivative f dash x. We can apply the quotient rule here and then find the derivative, right? So that means square of the denominator derivative of the first which is 1 times the second function which is x square plus 1 minus first function which is a numerator times derivative of the denominator which is 2x right so we could simplify this which is x square plus 1 minus 2x square over x square plus 1 whole square right now this could be written as 1 minus or you can say yeah it's better to write 1 minus x square in this case yeah divided by you could have written minus x square plus 1 also x square plus 1 whole square now this is the first derivative right now derivative of first derivative is the second derivative so let's find the second derivative so second derivative is represented by f double double prime f double dash x so second derivative again will apply the quotient rule square of the denominator x square plus 1 to the power of 4 now square of square derivative of the numerator which is minus 2x times the denominator which is x square plus 1 whole square minus derivative I will we can write product 1 minus x square times derivative of the denominator which is 2 times x square plus 1 times 2x correct so that is the derivative now you can simplify this a bit and rewrite your expression right so so what we have here is minus 2x times x square plus 1 whole square and here we can multiply 2 and 2 it gives us 4 so we get minus 4x and we have 1 minus x square times x square plus 1 and the denominator is x square plus 1 to the power of 4 we can take x square plus 1 common so let's take x square plus 1 common so we get x square plus we can also take 2x also so so we'll take uh, minus 2x times x square plus 1 as common factor so we are left with x square plus 1 from the first term and minus and minus becomes plus we already taken minus 2 so 2 remains here times x square plus 1 that has been taken common 1 minus x square right so 1 minus x square divided by x square plus 1 to the power of 4 you can now simplify this as 2x times x square plus 1 and x square plus 1 one of them cancels out right so so what I will do here is that in the denominator I'll write this as x square plus 1 whole cube right so what we've done here we cancel this one of these factors root 3 okay so in the brackets I can write x square and let me write first x square and minus 2x square okay so so we what we get here x square minus 2x square is minus x square is it okay then we have 1 plus 2 because this gets multiplied so x square plus 3 right so that is what we get here and we 2x will just multiply by both the terms so minus and minus becomes plus so 2x cube minus 6x over x square plus 1 whole cube so that could be the form in which you could write the answer right you could also actually at this stage at this stage you could also write this as let me take minus out so it looks better actually so I could write this as 2x times x square minus 3 divided by x square plus 1 whole cube this looks better so this could be your final answer right Okay, I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.